Welcome, in front of me is a Honor 70 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So let's get started by opening up settings and navigating to home screen and wallpaper where you'll find a bunch of customizations for your device. This will include things like magazine unlocks which uh, personally I'm not a fan of so you can turn it off in here because by default it will be enabled. Or if you do like it, you can just kind of uh, hone it a little bit to fit your uh, kind of preferences to what it actually displays. Because by default, it's just going to show you a random mess of pictures from all kinds of different categories like travel, transport, celebrity styles, uh, life and sports. And some of them might be kind of weird, like the life one where you have just, you know, furniture and, uh, and for instance, like some kind of houses it just looks a little bit weird travel also might be a little bit weird but also could for instance include some nice uh, uh, nice locations though celebrities obviously that's kind of weird i'll most likely disable this one and style as well um so yeah just customize it to fit whatever you want and that's basically it uh when you go back you have more options for instance like icons in here so you can choose different kind of icon packs if you install more they should appear in here as well so you can select from installed ones as well though the phone comes with a bunch of them already preloaded and some of them actually look nice so i'm gonna change it to this one and when i go home should see it change though it's not looking that much different to be completely honest and we have obviously wallpapers, uh, home screen uh, settings, and some other stuff. Now, next thing that I'm gonna touch upon, which is also in here, is the always on display. By default, it will be enabled. You can obviously customize it in here if you tend to use it. So you can just choose different kind of uh, images right here. Um, you can make your own ones based on like some kind of style with your own writing. Uh, and I believe you can also add your own pictures, or maybe not. Yeah, it looks like that's not a case. Yeah, none of them actually allows you to do that. But you can select it, customize it with like the digital, analog clocks, uh, some kind of more artistic ones, and so on. Now, I personally don't like always on display. It wastes a little bit of battery, and I personally just prefer to press the power button whenever I want to check out my phone. So I'll turn it off. This will give me a little bit of battery. Now, moving on to the next thing, it's going to be under the display and brightness. So we're going to start off with the dark and light mode. By default, I believe the phone opts into a light mode without any kind of additional options. But if you navigate in here, you can change it to be, for instance, permanently in dark mode. Now, this is something that you don't really want permanent, meaning uh, we do have option to auto switch. When enabled, it gives you two more options for schedule and the dark mode settings. So. You can select it to uh, darken the wallpaper in dark mode. So this is just uh, actually can show it up. So right now you can see it. It's right now in light mode, and the wallpaper looks like this. And when I enable it, you can see it changes to dark mode, and the wallpaper changes with it to represent that as well. Obviously, this will this will work with wallpapers that come pre-installed with the device, not like any kind of wallpaper that you pick yourself. Not what I wanted. Just close this, this, and back here. And auto switch or a schedule will allow you to set it up from sunrise to sunset and custom. So you can choose a specific time that it will switch between. And this is a pretty good option, allowing you to set it up. So, for instance, during the nighttime, when you wake up and you want to check your phone, you're not getting flashbanged by the display being in this bright light mode. Uh, but it will be then in dark mode. And by default, when you select custom time, it starts at 10 till 7 in the morning. Which is what I would recommend utilizing. Now, moving on to another thing right here, that's going to be under the more display uh, settings, you'll find display carrier name. This, for some reason, is enabled. And when you have a carrier name that is uh, a little bit long, for instance, if you pop in uh, this little card right here, this is Virgin Mobile and it will display the entire freaking name here, Virgin Mobile, and remove a bunch of space that would normally be accommodated by just notification icons. So I would prefer to just completely remove it. As you can see, it gets rid of it fully and leaves you more space for notification icons. Obviously, if you have a SIM card in here, it will also show you reception, but only the reception without the actual name of the card. 
So pretty nice uh, little change. And going back here again to the display and brightness, you'll also find screen refresh rate. And here we have several options. We have dynamic, high and standard. It is set to dynamic by default, which is a pretty good option. Uh, but if you prefer to prioritize battery life only, you could set it up to be standard. This will lock the device to 60 Hertz, meaning the, frame, the screen will refresh 60 times per second instead of the 120 or 60 that it normally would. Uh, and the way it kind of alters, the reason why I said 120 and 60, is because with dynamic, it will switch between them. So when the screen is uh, just not doing anything like right now, it is running at 60. But if, for instance, I go back here and start just scrolling up and down, it is now running at 120. So every time you start moving the display, it automatically uh, switches into 120 to give you this nice smooth motion. But when you're not using it, it just tries to preserve battery just a little bit as much as it can by switching to 60. So a pretty good option. But like I said, for saving battery, uh, this one will be better. And that's basically all I have to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.